What's going on, friends? It's TJ. This is another episode of THC and NFTs. Today, we're back with another smoke break. So, while I light this, let's check out the intro. You could try to play it, but you're never gonna be But the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Ooh. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange Love me a good smoke break, right? Alright friends, so today I got a few things going on uh, Today we're gonna give away some white lists Uh from my YouTube giveaway for Crypto Creams, and we're also gonna give away some merch. We also ran a giveaway on Twitter, and in that Twitter giveaway, one of the winners who's also gonna get a whitelist spot is also gonna get to uh, go on their merch store and uh, choose a piece of merch, which is which is pretty cool. So a little refresher, uh, Crypto Creams, they're an ice cream shop in Texas uh, called Milky Treats, and they are creating their own NFT and incorporating it into their current business plan. And they're offering lifetime ice cream to whitelist uh, mentors. And they're also offering uh, residuals from online sales and in-store sales from their brick and mortar fr uh, franchise and future stores. So, so it, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool project. And, I, and I'm really interested in with what they got going on. And I really like the team and the whole community, but, um, Let's talk NFTs. Personally, I love NFTs, but I get this a lot at work. What the fuck is an NFT? And and I I love when you when you Google um you know NFT or when you when you try to figure it out. It, it it's it's so complex. It's so hard to understand. It's it's like they'll, they'll tell you well an NFT is a piece of metadata that lives on the blockchain. And it, it is essentially a token, a non-fungible token. And this token is data. And this data lives on a blockchain. What the fuck is that? I mean, that is, that is fucking confusing. And, and then they'll go in, in deeper and go, well, there's Ethereum blockchain, there's Solana blockchain, um, and, and these are just simple ones. There's also Cardano and a couple others. Nifty, Gateway, Nifties. Um, there's a lot of blockchains out there. <coughs> um, but I'm just using Ethereum and Solana as a reference. Right there, I feel like that loses a lot of people. And I, I, I just want to, uh, you know, go off on a little tangent on, on you know, what NFTs are in, in my eyes. Because, yes, these are non-fungible tokens. And, and these tokens are data. And right now the way we are choosing to use NFTs are, are what's gonna, you know, determine the future of the space. And, and right now, you know, we use NFTs in multiple ways. You can mint an NFT from a project, you know, this NFT essentially to them form of crowdfunding for them, you know, to start a franchise or a business and you are investing in that. Or there are NFTs that are used to educate. You can mint an NFT and this NFT gives you access to uh, exclusive classes and content that isn't available to the public. NFTs can also be used to show that you, you, know, you are a collector in the space. You are an art collector. Uh, th there's a lot of different forms and uses for NFTs. And, and I love where the future's going because for me, the whole concept of my MetaMask and me owning, you know, everything in that wallet. And, and, and what is a MetaMask? A MetaMask wallet or a digital wallet or a crypto wallet is essentially a ledger. And, and, and it is your ledger and it is something you should keep very safe and sacred. It has all your transactions you have approved. It keeps track of it all. And, and this is also how you mint NFTs. You, you, you will need a wallet. Um, but we're get, we're straying, straying away from the topic at hand. For me, it's it's what can NFTs be? And, and I'm a big fan of Brian Fanzo. He is a futurist. You know, he is an early adopter. He is a very bright individual. And he dropped an episode with 30 plus uses, and, and I loved it. 
and, and one of the ones, you know, I'm not sure if he, I don't think he touched on this one, but to me, this was, he did touch about something about employees and, you know, how the workplace could use NFTs to reward employees. But this for me, I, I am a union worker. I work in local 724. I am a laborer and I work anywhere from 60, 70 hours a week. It, it is crazy hours, but I love my job. I get paid very well and my benefits are amazing. It allows me to provide for my family and be head of household. But I pay union dues and I also had to pay an initiation. So, so my initiation when I got in, uh, I, I got in about 12 years ago, my initiation was a little more than three grand. Now, my dues every year are right now they're around $1,200. So let's do the math here. So if I were to work 30 years in the industry and we'll, we'll round it down from 1200 to a, a grand for my, my, my yearly dues. If we round that down, that's $30,000. And on top of that, that's $33,000 for my initiation. So let's say instead of me paying 33,000 in yearly dues, I minted uh, an initiation NFT, which you know gave me my my union card, which gave me my seniority to be in the union. Well, well, why well why would I want to do that? Well, let's say this, you know, let's say, you know, I I am very passionate and I, I love you know working with my hands, which I do, but I want to jump to a different union. Now I've continued to be in good standings in my union, and I've paid my dues. And I've paid my initiation, but if I were to leave and stop paying dues, I have nothing to show for it other than what I've acquired in hours and in my pension. But what if, you know, I had an NFT and I wanted to get out, you know, of that union and I wanted to get into another union? Well, you have to pay initiations to get into other unions. And... It is really hard to do that, you know, when you have bills and other things on the side. So imagine you were able to sell your current union's NFT when you wanted to get out. And and you love this union and this union treated you really well. So you want to sell it, you know, for either the same price you got in for or you want to sell it for a little more. Now, what does that do for the union? Well, the union can set, you know, the residuals or or the... Uh, the secondary sales on OpenSea to get 20% residuals. So every time an NFT of theirs or one of their, I guess, union cards, you know, transfers or sales, they're going to make 20%. And on top of that, not only are they going to get the full dues of a member up front, they'll be able to support their members of their local even better because of the finances they have to provide for their union now i don't know about you but i love that you know that's something that i would get behind right right now a lot of businesses are incorporating nfts into their business models and that is awesome you know so so let's get back what is an nft well an nft is a token and it can be an item, it can be a picture, it can be a straight line that has jam-packed utility. Now, what is a utility? So, so let's break it down like this. I love to give this example. So you go to a movie theater, your local movie theater in your town, and you buy a movie ticket. Well, that paper pass essentially is a token. You know, it is your token to access the movie theater. And Without this token, you do not have access. That is the utility of that paper pass. So hand in hand, you know, a utility and an NFT go together uh, in that sense. But it doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to essentially serve the owner, but the owner owns it. And the owner chooses to do with that NFT as they, you know, as they see fit. And depending on what NFT they're holding, you know, they could use it different ways. So <clears throat> for that fact, I'm a big fan of NFTs and I love minting. I, I'm an avid minter. I'm an avid collector. Um, 
I I love everything about the space. And, and if you want to think about, you know, the stuff that you are investing in and how your wallet, your ledger keeps track of all this and how, you know, you you can show, you know, if you choose to other people your ledger and the transactions you've made and people can get a big feel for that, you know? And and in this space when you're minting, you know, you're choosing to invest your money. So choose to invest in projects you feel suit you, you know? Don't go out and invest in all these hype projects because you want to make that quick ETH. I mean, if that's if that's your strategy, you know, far be it for me to stop you. Good luck. I wish you the best, but that is not for me. Uh, I see this as a future, as something that's going to go on for a long time. I mean, imagine instead of having to go to a doctor's office to get a physical, imagine putting on a haptic suit and, and then being able to get your core body temperature, your blood pressure, you know, um, them in AR, being able to come and actually see you physically and observe you in a way that is more clear than just a typical Zoom call. Um, imagine having your immunity re um, immunization records, you know, in your wallet versus paper. I don't understand why we're still keeping everything on paper. It, it doesn't make sense. We are s such a advanced civilization that for us to own our own documents, we have to go to someone else to get them. Now, I don't understand that when we have such a thing called the blockchain and, and two-part verification and just the security that comes with the blockchain and the way I have to confirm, sign, and approve transactions and, you know, interactions with the, the blockchain. And that right there should be enough proof. And I should be able to walk into stores, you know, and verify with my wallet. Look, here's my immunization records. I'm good. Or I should be able to walk in. Look, I went to the DMV and did my driver's uh, retest or something. You know, there, there's proof of attendance NFTs. And all those really are exactly what they sound like. Proof that you were there. Now to me, that sounds like shit I did when I would collect my favorite ticket stub, concert stub. Um, you know, when I would collect wristbands from events that I went to. I like that. You know, it doesn't have a monetization value to, to other people, but it did, it did to me. It, it, it had a personal value to me and that meant something. And I love POAs. And I love what NFTs can be. And it gets me so excited when I talk about it. I feel so passionate about it. And I feel so passionate about the community. Because, yes, I'm speaking. I'm letting you see me. But I'm in my space. And in my space, I'm in a safe space. And I can be me. I can be who I want to be. And in this verse, in this space, I will be me. I will be the best me I can possibly be and try to uplift everyone around with me because like my buddy Tim from the secret Sesh told me you know he goes I make it when we make it and and that is so beautiful I love that you know I love community and the sense of growing together and if you're a creator you know if you're an artist or if you're someone you know just reach out people want to work together so Let's see what we can make out of NFTs. You know, what can we do with them? You know, where can this go? Because I promise you, it's not going nowhere. And you don't have to get into NFTs for monetary value. You don't even have to understand how they work. But eventually, they're going to be in your life. Just like 90% of the stuff that we use, we don't understand how it was made how it works behind the scenes, but we know if we do uh, A plus B plus C equals D, you know, and action equals a result. And that's where, you know, we're going with, you know, with everything here, and, 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 and I'm excited. So with that being said, and that's coming up on about 15 minutes here, and me coming down to my roach, 
I think we're going to do the Twitter giveaway first. What, 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 what? Money. All right, so let me switch over the screens real quick. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry, that's some of my extra footage. So here is the Twitter giveaway. It, it, it was real simple. Um, I, I tagged my YouTube video, so there was, you know, chances for y'all to get into my YouTube giveaway for whitelist as well. But right here, we're just going to run over uh, the Twitter giveaway. So you had to follow myself and Crypto Creams. You had to retweet, like, and tag some friends. All right. So I use Twitter Picker. It is very easy, very uh, reuse, uh, resourceful. It has a lot of features. And we're going to go over the way we're going to pick the winners. So there's going to be five winners. Um, the profile, you must have a description in your Twitter. Uh, you know, let us know a little about yourself in your description or tell us what you're into or, you know, or what you're holding or just say something in your description. Let us know you're not just here for the grab. You're not trying just to win NFTs. Let us know that you might be about community. Um, you got to have a picture, hands down. Uh, I took off the banner. <laughs> Um, and, the, and let me express why I did this. Uh, I had my Twitter for about two months and I was really active before I ever put a banner on. And the, when I put a banner on, the reason why was because I did my first Twitter picker and I saw this feature and I was like, uh, so every giveaway that I ever got into, I was not eligible if they had that feature on. So I take it off. Uh, the account age. I go to any and, and the reason why is I'm really hoping, you know, you got you, you, you all aren't creating a bunch of accounts to spam, to try to win giveaways, but I'm, I want to help uh, bring people into the space. And I just recently got Twitter again. And what made me get Twitter was NFTs. So if this is your first month or first week on Twitter and you happen to come across my giveaway, or you found me through Discord and you made a Twitter because you wanted to participate. You know, I'm all for it. Uh, so I put the count age to any. Uh, late, la, uh, latest tweet. Uh, late, uh, little, uh, latest tweet. The past month. You just got to somewhat be active. So we're going to pick five. And all five of you will win whitelist. One of you will win merch. Who's going to win merch? the person on the bottom. Why the bottom? Because everyone picks the top and we're in a space where we're at the very beginning and we're at the bottom floor and we're building up. We got nowhere to go but up. So let's 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 go for it. Let's see who we got. Oh continue. Doo, doo, doo. So there's 38 entries loaded. Are y'all ready for this? Begin draw. Dang it. Dang it. Dang. Well, dang it. The eight prod, dang it. Well, sorry, friends. You know, no description, no description. First of all, you're not following either of us. What? If you thought you were going to win and you didn't even follow either of us? Sorry, but boss. Friend, I just. All right. Well, we got D screams at Solo Yolks Z, huh? Oh, I'm gonna mess up every single one of these names. So let me apologize first. Then we got Also Fron. <laughs> I think Also Fron. We got Cryptic Two One Nine. We got Busta Dot Eth. Busta Gaming. Uh, we got Vinny Merritt. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So Vinny, congrats. You got the merch. You got the merch. You got the merch. And to all you red people out there, I'm sorry you didn't win. But if you participated in my YouTube giveaway, I might have a surprise for y'all. Other than that. Sorry. 
All right, so now we're gonna head over to YouTube. YouTube, where I do what I do, because I love YouTube. All right, so here it is. The Crypto Creams Review Official Merch and Whitelist Giveaway video. <laughs> so, there was roughly about, so there was 26 comments, and I'm sorry to say, not all of you followed the rules. Uh, and what that means was that means you didn't watch the video. And why do I do this? I don't do this to increase my watch time. I do this because I spend a lot of time making these videos and doing research before I do these videos. I'm here to help educate. Yes, the project reached out to me and gave me whitelists to make a video. They did not pay me. I did not accept any form of currency, ether, anything. I am completely here to help educate. I I am still learning and I feel like I learn every day. And if you're still not learning and you think you know everything, I think you need to step back and take a look at the space and see what's really going on because there's so much change in every day. So that's why I throw these little rules in where, you know, I said in the comments, make sure you leave your favorite type of ice cream. And even if you had a little, you know, uh, I guess, deductive reasoning if you would have saw a, as many people who were putting in their favorite ice cream in the comments i think i would have just thrown mine in you know just been like hey there's something up here you know let me be a part of it because but that's just me i'm community driven <laughs> and that's where my mind would have gone i'm like oh you know everyone's saying their favorite ice cream you know what my favorite ice cream is let's see rainbow sherbet that's right i like rainbow sherbet is that considered an ice cream I don't know, it's a sherbet, but that's my that's my style. I like I like a little tang. So guess what? Everyone in this that commented here, everyone, everyone that commented that left their favorite ice cream flavor, you got a white list. What? Making it rain. I talked to the project today and I reached out to them and I asked them if it was okay. You know, that, because only a few of you follow the rules. And what that meant to me, that meant that you cared more about learning about what this project was. And even if you were from the project, you, you cared more about, you know, seeing what else someone else thought about it. And that's fantastic. I love that. That's community. You know, you know, that's, so that's others supporting others and lifting each other up. And, and that's awesome. And I am new here. So I love every one of you who watched and yes i love all of you who commented to and came by and showed me love or subscribed but i really love the ones you know who, who listened and followed the rules because i feel like you walked out of this video a little more educated so we're, we're gonna go down the line here so first off we got quavi designs love this project for real so unique to go from an already existing successful business my favorite ice cream is og chocolate chip right there i asked what was the favorite ice cream put it in the comments that's how i knew you were participating and i do this in every giveaway and and there's a reason why because i want to sort through the people who just want to win versus the people who really care and want to learn about the nft and if they really learn about the nft they would probably be more serious about potentially buying it or minting it sorry um so let's see here uh we have a couple multi comments but I actually wrote them all down too. Uh, hmm. So bust a nut. To add to my previous comment, uh, cookies and cream is my favorite ice cream. Uh, who else do we got? Lucky Larry's. Oh yeah, strawberry is my favorite flavor. Gabrielle Beltran, favorite ice cream is pistachio flavor. White list, well you got it. <clears throat> Zorak Z, my favorite ice cream is strawberry. Right on. Duval Johnson, cookies and cream with some lemon cherry gushers. Mmm, that sounds that sounds that sounds fire. And that was very that was very specific. Lemon cherry gushers. I might have to try that. Andrew Adams, we got cookies and cream. Uh, Jesus. 
Vallejo. His is Banana Funk. I know he began high too. That's his favorite cream. So, oh, we got Remood. Remood, chocolate ice cream is the best. Boom. Mike, drop. Y'all got whitelist. You know, I really appreciate y'all watching this video. So, everyone <clears throat> who got a whitelist on this video, make sure you hop in the Discord. I'll, I'll leave. You know what? Hold on, let me go back. Let, 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 let me take this back. So, everyone who want a whitelist in this video, make sure you hop in the Discord. I'll leave a link in the Discord. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description of my video to their Discord. And uh, you can open a ticket. When you open a ticket and support, make sure you leave uh, you know, a message, say hi. Tell them that you want a whitelist from THC and NFTs, either their, your, the Twitter giveaway, if you want a whitelist from the Twitter giveaway, or uh, a whitelist from the YouTube giveaway. Just make sure you know you guys say hi, uh, be friendly, hop in the chat, talk to the community, say what's up, check out the project if you haven't already. So thank y'all for stopping by. I'm super faded right now. That blunt really just hit me. So I think I'm gonna kick back do a little editing, get this video out to y'all, and thank everyone for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the video. Till next time, peace out, my friends.